multi million dollar music venue that would have been built right near Summerfest is no longer happening, at least not now. Taylor Lumpkin gives us an update on what put an end to this proposed project. Taylor. A proposed multi million dollar music venue that had plans of being built on Milwaukee's Summerfest grounds have been scrapped. It's just disappointing, yeah. to say the least. Milwaukee World Festival, along with FPC Live, a Madison based concert promoter, made the announcement Friday not to pursue the original location for the music venue, a location that did not gain much support from residents and business owners in the Third Ward who would have lived right next to it. Well, I'm always thinking about traffic coming in, uh, parking. There was a lot of concern about this controversy that it would impact you know, the way they live and their values of their of their residences down there. The proposed building was expected to have two venues inside that could hold 800 and 4,000 people. It also would have been a place where local artists, big and small, could come to play. Something like that would have been a huge, you know, would have been huge for the local music scene. We literally build our own stages when we go and play shows because there just aren't venues around. While developers did not cite a specific reason as to why they pulled the original plan, in a statement, FPC Live said, quote, we remain committed to developing this state of the art project in Milwaukee. And according to our partners at the Milwaukee Business Journal, there's already speculation about where the next site for the venue may be, including the location of the former Bradley Center. You're right in the entertainment district, you're right next to the arena, you have the infrastructure in place, oh, you have restaurants, you have the bars, you have lots of places to park. And this seems like an obvious site. Officials with FPC Live said they'll announce more details about the venue in due time. Until then, Milwaukee will just have to wait and see. In Milwaukee, Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News.